I'm Clara Rose, and this is Influence Matters, the show where each week I share tips, tricks, tools, hacks, resources, and sometimes a special guest to help savvy influence builders just like you to strategically and intentionally establish, build, and cultivate influence because we know that that's how we organically generate leads for our business ministry, cause, or brand. And that is why we're here today. So welcome once again. Before we get started, I have to do, you know, the, the, the weekly thank you to our sponsors. So thank you, Rosedale Publishing, for sponsoring our show. Rosedale specializes in business books for professionals and entrepreneurs. And I know some of you fall into that category. So they can help you get your book and your message out into the world. And then, of course, I have to give a special shout out to the fine folks at Tampa Bay Multimedia and WeBeam TV, where we are today for truly making this show possible for me and for you. Okay, welcome back on another Friday. Today we have a special guest. So I'm really excited to introduce her to you. Her name is Sarah, and she is from Sarah's Social Strategy. Now, Sarah does something that I talk with you guys about occasionally. Now, every week we say, you know, write, speak, lead, you know, because influence matters, right? That's what the show is all about, write, speak, lead. Now, a couple of times we've talked about how do you do everything that falls to your plate, especially if you are a solopreneur or you're a small business entrepreneur? You wear a lot of hats and sometimes you can't do everything yourself. And it makes good sense if something doesn't fall into your wheelhouse or isn't your superpower, as I like to say. It makes sense to hire that out to somebody who that is their superpower, right? So today, Sarah is going to come on and talk with us about her superpower and how she could perhaps even help you. So please help me welcome my special guest today, Sarah Curcio. Are you there, Sarah? There Hi, you are. Clara, I'm here. Welcome. How are you? I'm Thank wonderful. You for her. Thank you for having me. Appreciate it. It is my pleasure. Thank you for taking some time out of your busy week to come and talk with us about what it is that you do. Now, I saw that it said on under your name. You, and we met on Clubhouse, right? Yes. Yes. Cool new tool that we're all enjoying. Yes, I, I'm loving it. <laughs> yes. I, I saw that it really said that you specialize in coaches, where we didn't talk about that when we had our conversation, but you help coaches specifically with their marketing, right? Yes, I do. Um, I help health coaches, life coaches, business strategist coaches. Those are my, um, basically my wheelhouse to help a lot of different people with their social media, blogging, email marketing campaigns. Cause as you said that, you know, you don't always have enough time to do everything. Entrepreneurs do wear a lot of hats. We do indeed. Absolutely. And it, it isn't, it, that's great if you're a social media expert. Right? But a lot of us as coaches, I don't technically consider myself a coach, more of a, you know, editor, strategist, consultant, but some people call me a coach, but social media, while I enjoy it, that's not my superpower. So it makes sense for me to have some help with some of that, right? And coaches, they coach about something specific, right? If you're a wellness coach, you coach about wellness, right? You may or may not have a good handle on how to market yourself on social media. And that's where you come in, right, Sarah? Yes, definitely. Um, my 
two platforms of expertise are Facebook and LinkedIn. Um, but I would have to say Clubhouse has come up there in the top three. Um, I do help with Instagram, but I do prefer the um, the other three as opposed to Instagram. And I do Pinterest as well, um, but I feel like Pinterest connects more with the blogs and the SEO and helping to drive traffic. So that's how I kind of utilize Pinterest a little bit more. So this is interesting. Every week I talk about write, speak, lead, but you actually do a fair amount of writing. So you are using writing as part of not only your business, but you use that for building your own influence as well. Yes, definitely. Um, I write all of my own content for my social media posts, um, for my blogs, everything. I do that myself um, and I do it for all my clients on a daily basis. <laughs> um, it, it can be a lot, but I have to say I enjoy that as opposed to doing like you say, admin type things or anything like that. So it, it's definitely fun to do, especially if I have um, a health oriented client, that would be my um, wheelhouse because I also love health and wellness too. Okay. Okay. Interesting. Just a, a wonderful way of marrying something that you're already passionate about with something else that you're already passionate about, which that is gold right there when you can do that. Okay. So tell us um, about the blogging part, because I hear this a lot from my own clients as I, I don't do their social media for them. I help them strategize. I hear from them a lot. Oh, I just don't have time to blog, but that's a service that you can help them with. So how do you, uh, how do you blog for somebody else like that? I get that question a lot and you do have to have a good relationship with your client because you want to make sure that you are spreading their message, their mission in their tone of voice because if if they are, you know, very authentic and very truthful and you're doing writing just the opposite of that, it's not going to attract their target market. So you need to feel confident with the client you're working for to be able to write for them. And you also need to be aware of, you know, basic blog structure, such as, you know, how much word count, are you familiar with SEO titles, meta descriptions, focus keywords, like, because you have to write all of that in addition to the blog post itself. So you just need to be aware of being able to express what your client is trying to get across. That is the most important part. If you don't feel you can do it, and I've had some clients where I don't feel I can express their content, well, I'll just say it to them because it's more important to be honest than to do a poor job writing for them. I totally agree with you. So in my business, we call that capturing your voice, but it really is about hearing the the words that those people use regularly and the speech patterns and, you know, we all have our own unique way of communicating and not everyone can capture that, right? That's, that's a, a skill set or a talent that not everyone has, my friend. So that's awesome that you can offer that. Um, I love that you can come in and build a relationship with people. I think building relationships is such an important part of what I do important part of what you do, obviously, as well. So I'm just guessing at this, but I'm going to assume that you also will help them with the strategy piece, right? Yes, I okay. will, definitely. So how, when you first meet with, kind of walk me through, when you first meet with a customer, what they might be able to expect? Well, first, I will set up a discovery call with them, a 30-minute call to ask them some questions, you know, give me an overview of your business. Um, I do have a form when they schedule it as to what their needs are specifically. Um, are they a coach? Are they a consultant? Variety of things like that. So I'll go over all those questions and then I will tell them about the pack monthly packages that I offer and how I feel I can help them depending on what platforms they may want or how often they want to send out newsletters, especially for startups. It's very important to have a strategy for startups because a lot of them don't realize that when they're first starting out, they should have 
two blog posts a week. They should have two email marketing newsletters. And they really should just focus on one social media platform at a time. Yes, you can have a presence on all of them, but if you try to do the same amount of content for each social media platform, Facebook, LinkedIn, Instagram, et cetera, it's going to get overwhelmed. You're going to get exhausted. And then your message isn't going to get across to your target market. So those are usually some of the basic things that I will go over with a startup for somebody that is more seasoned or experienced entrepreneur. They already have something in mind. So I will just help give them tips for their specific business to help them take, take it to the next level, basically. Very nice. So wherever you are, if you are ready for someone to kind of hold your hand a little bit and help you out to take you to that next step, whatever that is, then Sarah is a good fit for you. Now, I want to talk about your book because, of course, as a, a, a writer myself and as a publisher, that is near and dear to my heart. Now, this looks like it was a collaboration. Am I correct? Yes. This book that you did. So you are a chapter within this book. Yes. Correct. So tell us about the book. Um, so it actually is a full year now that I'm an author. So I'm definitely excited about that. Congratulations. Um, thank you. It is part of a book collaboration with 20 other amazing women. And the book is on Amazon. It's called Monetize Your Message. So basically what we had to do within our own chapter was talk about ourselves, our background, a little bit about our businesses, and also give our top five success tips to share with other women entrepreneurs. Um, it was basically a book about sharing how we turned our natural brilliance into an income. And it was very exciting to work with um, our is our book coach because we had someone who was experienced with working with Amazon, the structure and everything like that. So we actually got the opportunity to just write, which made it a lot easier than having to go crazy doing all of that ourselves. Um, but it was very exciting. We had um, a pre-launch for Kindle as well. So it's available in Kindle and paperback. Um, and it, something that I've been wanting to do basically since I was a teenager. I wanted to write a book, be a part of it, but um, having the book collaboration, I felt it was like a stepping stone. And eventually I do want to write my own book on my own. Absolutely. Absolutely. That's a great first step though. If you're not ready to take a leap into a, a whole book, that's a great way to kind of get your feet wet and see is this because it's a lot more work than people realize when you're writing a book, as you can probably attest. You just had the one chapter, right? <laughs> you Definitely. You have, <laughs> that you had 20 chapters or 21 chapters, a little bit more overwhelming, and you definitely want yes. to hire someone to help you with that process, which, of course, is something that, that I do. I help people with all that back-end stuff that they don't understand about working with an on-demand pu publishing house or a, even a big publishing house. That's kind of one of the things that I do. So when you're ready, my friend, for that next step, definitely you know who to call. Keep mind. <laughs> we, we will do the whole book together. But super exciting to actually have taken that first step. And I love collaborations because it's super easy for everyone to put their piece in there. And then together, everyone benefits from the value of having been published as an author as I'm up here preaching every week <laughs> about the value of it. So, okay, I don't want to run out of time before we talk about the other piece that I know that you do. So you have a program as well. Yes, that program is to help um, virtual assistants narrow or discover their niche so that they can help their clients the way that I do as a marketing manager. Okay, so you, but you have a whole program that teaches them. Yes, through that a, process. Exactly, it's an entire program. It's self-paced; they can do it on their own. Um, it's six weeks, and I also offer some one-to-one -one coaching sessions through it to walk them through each step, so they can make the right choice for them and for the future of their business. 
So do you mind if I ask what platform you're using to deliver that? I actually am using Teachable okay. for that. Okay. I've played with Teachable a bit. I've I've tried several. I'm currently using Kajabi for my digital courses. Mm, but I have I've used, heard that. I have used Teachable as well. Um, I think that, and, and it's been a few years since I used it, but I think that I didn't stick with it because it didn't have the email piece integrated. And I'm a big, I'm a tool person for sure. So if, if I can get all of my all my stuff in one tool instead of having 20 tools. I like that. Um, oh, automation is good. <laughs> <laughs> yes, and they have beautiful automation with Kajabi. So because I'm a small company, small boutique company, I'm, you know, I don't have a huge staff of people. I do a lot of outsourcing to people like you so that, that I can have all those other needs met, those things that aren't my own superpower. I definitely outsource to people like you. So um, anyway, it sounds like you are a perfect fit for so many of my audience, so many people who are paying attention right here today. And then, of course, we'll be sharing this all over social media um, once it comes out live on, um, on our platform. So be watching for places where you can connect with Sarah and say congratulations for being on the show and reach out to her and see if there's something that she can't do to help you promote your business. Okay, we still have a little bit of time, so I want to just kind of circle back and find out a little bit about how you got here. What made you pick this? How did this become your superpower? Actually, it was kind of by accident. Um, I've been in this industry for about 10 years and I just was looking for something part-time why I was you know doing online school and my chiropractor actually recommended um, a company to me that I could work for and I just started building up my skills from there and it kind of just led one thing into another and my experience just grew and as I mentioned before, I always loved writing from the time I was in high school. I was um, editor of a paper from there. So between the combination, it kind of just um, those those little sparks grew into a business as I got older. So how long have you had your business then? So it's Sarah's Social Strategy. That's the name of your business, correct? Yes, I have it a little over four years now. Okay, okay. So you're still kind of a baby in the business world for years, but certainly around to long enough to know what you're doing. Social media, um, I find changes so quickly that I don't want to be yeah. the person that has to keep up with that. So that really do have to be paying <laughs> attention to all the algorithm changes. Yes, exactly. So that's another big benefit working with someone like you is you keep track of those things, correct? Yes. Yes, exactly. I, I inform my clients of different things like that all the time, especially when it comes to Facebook out of anything. <laughs> oh, right. Because it seems like every, every week there's something new that I don't know. Mm -hmm. Like, oh, my word. How do you even, I don't even know how you keep up with it. Well, you keep up with it because it's your business to keep up with it, right? Yes, I keep up with it um, just by being on it daily or watching a lot of different YouTube videos. I subscribe to um, different newsletters to keep up with the changes. So I make sure that I do a lot of reading on my own um, because if I didn't, I wouldn't be able to help myself or help my clients. So it, it's a lot of um, basically a lot of self-taught work I've done over the years. That's all right. Getting in the trenches and learning how those things operate in real life is very different than just the book learning stuff and not having the experience. I do try to spend a bit of time reading to keep up on things, but tell you what, Facebook has been the hardest for me to stay on top of because it seems like things change so rapidly with them that I, I am always several steps behind on yeah. my Facebook stuff. Things will change. And this morning, was it this morning, yesterday morning, I just found out that you could make your own, your own club finally on Clubhouse because I had applied yes. a, a while back. So, <laughs> Sarah's like, well, Claire, you know, 
<laughs> you can go in and make your club now. I'm like, dang, see, there's, there's no way to stay on. I'm busy with my clients. I'm busy, you know, writing and editing and publishing. I'm, you know, busy speaking, busy with my show. I'm busy doing things, working with my client base. I don't have time to stay on top of these things. And that's why it's so important to surround yourself with a team of people yes. just like Sarah <laughs> who can stay on top of the things that are in their world, right? Super important. I appreciate that heads up this morning. I have gone in and added my club. <laughs> oh, good. I look forward to having you show up and talk influence in the Influence Matters Club. So we'll be extending the conversation beyond just the Influence Matters show that happens every week live right here. We'll be doing that on Clubhouse as well. So I'd love to have you on a guest as a guest on the sure. Influence Matters show in there. Sure, looking forward to it. And then any of you who are watching, if you are on Clubhouse, please pop over and jump into the conversation. We'll have Sarah come and you could literally ask her questions. Right here, we don't have the platform, right? Because you're sitting in front of the television. <laughs> right? So we don't, there's not a platform here for you to ask her direct questions. But over there at Clubhouse, you can. Now, if they want to connect with you and they're not on Clubhouse, of course, they can connect with you on social media, right? Definitely, especially on um, Facebook and LinkedIn. Okay. So where on Facebook will they find you? Uh, I have a profile page. Um, I have a profile. I have a business page as well. So they can feel free to message me or connect out with me on there. And on LinkedIn, I have the same. I have a profile page that they connect, connect with. And then I have my business page as well. So no matter where they feel comfortable is fine. I'll be able to uh, interact with them either way. Under your name or under Sarah's? Um, either one. Oh, okay. Okay. So last name is C-U-R-C-I-O. Yes. Right? Sarah with an H. <laughs> yes. Okay, thank so you. If you're looking for her, you'll want to add the H. Um, and then Sarah's social strategy for the business side of things. And um, you can direct message her or hop on her page and say hello. She's happy to answer any questions and um, get back with you more directly. But if you're on Clubhouse, please join us. This, this week especially, we're going to be talking more about Sarah. Thank you so much for spending some time with us. I appreciate your time. Um, any last minute tips, tricks, anything you want to lay on us? Any gold you want to leave us with today? Um, I would say don't be afraid to try Clubhouse, especially because a lot of people are a little intimidated since it's so new. But, um, you know, there's a lot of different ways to structure your bio, especially in sections. That's very important. And try not to structure it in full sentences. People want to be able to figure out what you do at a quick pace. Ah, good advice. So bullet points or... Emojis yeah. or something other than a whole, I probably better go look at my profile. I tend to be wordy <laughs> by and nature. Space, and space the emoji from the word. Don't have them on top okay. of each other like Facebook. Okay. It's searchable. Okay. Oh, <laughs> see, there's things that you only know if you're in the social media realm, right? Good advice. Okay. Well, thank you so much for being with us again today. If you are on Clubhouse, stop in and say hello to us. Of course, you can always find me anywhere on social media as Clara Rose Chat. You can find me on LinkedIn. You can find me on Facebook. And you can find me now on Clubhouse with my brand new club, Influence Matters, where we're going to talk about what? We're talking about writing, speaking, and leading to create influence, right? Okay. Now, my little tidbit for the week for you. We are just about out of time, but I want to leave some gold for you today. If you are in the beginning stages of being an entrepreneur and you need some guidance, I'm going to direct you to my new book that came out last year, which is Eight Ways to Mind Your Own Business, Strategy and Mindset for the New Entrepreneur. You can also, so that's on Amazon, you can get it in hard or soft cover, or you can get it in an ebook. And then I also want to direct you to my new book, which is coming out 
sometime this month. So really close uh, to having consistency matters in your hot little hands. If you go to clararose.com forward slash consistency matters, it's going to let you hop on the waiting list. So you will be one of the first to know when it is actually available to purchase and you'll be able to get your copy right away. This is the 90 day habit farming journal for entrepreneurs. Now you don't have to be a new entrepreneur. I just want to help set you up for success right away. You could be a long time entrepreneur feeling like, all right, there's some things just slipping away from me. I need to, to create some good habits. It's going to help me take my business to the next level, grow my business, pivot my business, whatever you're trying to accomplish. These are some easy daily things that you can do to truly create habit, make those new neural pathways in our brains. Now we talked about that a few weeks ago. If you missed that episode, go back and watch that episode. Consistency matters. It's super important that we are strategic and intentional about creating those pathways to create habits. Habits make it so much easier for us to focus our time and attention on the things that matter, right? I think it's like 98% of what we do comes from habit. So making sure that those habits serve us instead of us serving our habits, right? Good stuff. Okay. Thank you for being with me once again. I look forward to our time next week. We have another special guest, but I'm not going to spoil it. Be watching for my new book. Consistency Matters to come out. And if you liked this, share it. Share it with your friends. If there's somebody you think, oh, man, they need to hear what Clara had to say today or what Sarah had to say today, share this with them. Like this, tell your friends all about it. I look forward to seeing you next week. And remember to write, speak, and lead. Why? Because influence really does matter, my friends. All right. Next week, next Friday, I'll see you again. Thanks for joining me. Take care.